Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours, Scorpio. What is going on for Scorpio the next 48 hours? If you have Scorpio in your chart anywhere, sun, moon, and rising, this reading is for you. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Put your comments below. I love to read your comments. Okay, Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio? Next 48 hours, Spirit. A message for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Rising. The Two of Swords. There's some decisions that you need to make. You have a choice. You have a choice that you need to make because there's a new beginning un unfolding. You have the full. New beginnings. I'm loving this. The Two of Wands. You have a choice between two paths. The Page of Wands. Wow. Okay. The Star. No, this is the sun. The sun. I looked at it wrong. Beautiful. Scorpio, what are you doing? We have the nine of wands. We have the ace of swords. Some kind of communication is coming through. This is you finding your truth. The hermit wanted to pop out here. Wow, lots of wisdom coming through. And the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. Well, I'm glad it came out in reverse. At the bottom, we have the world. So you're going through some kind of completion. I feel like something is coming forward for you, Scorpio. You've met your goals. You've done your achievements. This is you ending something some side kind of cycle is ending so that this beautiful beautiful new beginning can unfold and i feel like it's leaving you with choices it's leaving you with a new path to take yeah we have the six of pentacles too so some someone wants to offer you something this is equal balance with the six of pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, someone wants to offer you some kind of ge gift, some kind of generosity. Someone wants to, you know, level the scales for you. Where you may feel like the, the scales were tipped, maybe in one direction or another. Someone's offering you some kind of help to level the scales, make it more balanced. And I feel like whatever this is with the world card, this could be you, for some of you, very for a very small amount, this could be you traveling. But I feel like for the majority of you, this is a lesson learned. This is a goal that you achieve. This is some kind of cycle that's ending, that's pushing you into this bold new beginning. And I feel like with this new beginning... There are choices that you need to make. There are some very hard choices that, that you may need to make in the next 48 hours. But I feel like this choice is going to make all the difference. It's going to either push you into this destination or it's going to leave you standing still. So make sure to take a look at your choices very clearly, Scorpio. Because this new beginning is going to take you on a new journey. This is you taking that leap of faith. Taking that risk that's going to push you into this new de destination. We have another two here. More decisions. More paths to follow. You have a decision to make which path to take. This could also be you waiting for some kind of results on a situation. But I really do feel like it's you needing to make a choice which path is going to be the best path for you. Which path is going to lead you to the right direction. And Scorpio, 
I feel like someone is coming in to offer you some kind of communication. This may be a new job that's coming through. The ones usually deal, can deal with work, school, um, play. Um, but this is some kind of decision that's going to bring a lot of passion. It's going to bring a lot of renewal into your life. This communication that's coming through is something that's going to put you over the top with the sun card being right next to it whatever choices look at all these wands in this reading we have the two of wands the page of wands the nine of wands you know we we have passion we have decisions we have pushing forward and not giving up and this communication is going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of fulfillment in the next 48 hours someone is going to make your day when they try to contact you they're they're going to contact you and it is going to bring you uplifted look at this we have the three of swords right underneath the sun now the sun can never be a negative card but the three of swords that's usually disappointment that's usually heartbreak but it is in reverse so whatever this this three of swords is this is bringing you out of disappointment this is bringing you out of being discouraged, being doubtful. This sun is shining so bright on you that it's bringing you a lot of happiness. And I feel like nothing can bring you down. Nothing can sway you from feeling these feelings of excitement, exhilaration, happiness, contentment. Something is making you very joyful. And I feel like it's pushing you to move forward. I think Spirit is telling you to don't give up the fight. Your battle has just begun. You know, and this is a battle you want to win. Because this is a battle that is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of contentment. This is something that you do not want to give up on. You don't want to waver on this fight. Because I feel like it's going to push you into a very strong direction, Scorpio. A lot of truth is coming out. You're finding the answers to a situation. I feel like with this Two of Wands, Two of Swords situation, you're coming to your conclusions. You're taking your path with victory. You know, this is truth. This is you being very thoughtful about your situation thinking very clearly about your situation having new ideas as you go along your way and I feel like these ideas are bringing so much wisdom he's being led down his path of wisdom and knowledge but he's being led by his healing the star is in his lantern so the star is guiding his path so I feel like your healing is guiding you. Your past events that brought you to this destination, whatever challenges, whatever obstacles that you've been through in the past, it has made you the person that you are. And now that healing is guiding you. That's your wisdom. That's your knowledge. That's pushing you forward in a really great way. Because it's bringing you out of this disappointment. It's bringing you out of whatever fears that you had. Whatever heartache in the past. It's bringing you out of that. Whatever feeling of loss that you had. You're having total recovery from that. This is security. This is you looking at this star. Looking at the sun and smiling knowing that whatever is coming in the next 48 hours is intended just for you you know beautiful energy scorpio let's get some more messages for scorpio what's coming in the next 48 hours what can scorpio look forward to in the next 48 hours and of course i'm dropping cards it wouldn't be a day if I wasn't dropping stuff. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, Scorpio, you're going to be surprised. We have the death card. 
this is total transformation. Something had to end so that this new beginning, new transformation came forward. This is beautiful energy. The death card is nothing to be afraid of. It's actually something ending so something bigger and better can come about. This is you truly transforming your situation from one aspect to another. Beautiful energy. We also have the strength card. So this is you, Scorpio. You're showing yourself unconditional love. This could also be someone else showing you unconditional love as well. But I feel like you're focused on yourself. You're focused on taking care of Scorpio. And this is bringing you a lot of strength, a lot of stability, a lot of courage to get past your situation. I feel like with the death card and the strength card and the fool right above, oh my goodness, you are fearless. You are fierce. You have total victory. Victory. Um, I apologize. I'm having a hard time talking. I'm just getting so excited for you, Scorpio. This is beautiful energy. Um, Scorpio, what else does Scorpio need to know next 48 hours? What does Scorpio need to know? The Page of Pentacles. And someone's going to definitely come in for an offer. Look at this. We have the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Someone is coming in to offer you a situation. Now, the pages, they can also be very immature. They're just starting out their journey. This is a beginning for them. So I feel like in one aspect, this is a new beginning for you. This is another aspect to your new beginning because I feel like you're learning. You're learning new passions. You're learning about money. You're learning about the situation. You may be even learning about this new job if this is a new job that you're starting. But I feel like some kind of situation, you're learning. You're in the beginning phase of this. Now, I believe that this is also communication because I feel like someone is going to come in with some kind type of offer that's going to increase your financial wealth. It's going to increase your income, increase your wage. Definitely. Hangman. Wow. So you've gained the knowledge. You've surrendered to the divine to totally transform your situation. You've asked your guides, the higher power, for help, for strength. And now it's being offered up to you in a very big way. You have transformation. The next 48 hours is going to be very crucial for you. Very crucial. I feel like a lot of wisdom is coming through. You're looking at this in a totally different perspective. And it's definitely giving you victory. You're being seen, Scorpio. People are taking notice. This warrior is coming in from battle and this is a parade they're recognizing him they're recognizing his efforts his job well done and they're taking notice they're lifting him up they're praising him and i feel like this is you scorpio you're going to get a lot of praise the next 48 hours someone is going to offer you big rewards the next 48 hours and it's going to make you very happy very overwhelmed. Scorpio, this is you. This is you. You're a cup. This is your energy. You're very nurturing, very supportive, very loving, very caring. So I feel like along with this, Scorpio, you're going to feel that support. This communication that's coming through is here to support you, here to lift you up, to guide you through to your next journey. This is also you feeling the emotions of being recognized, being rewarded. Um, I feel like you're going to be very joyful, very happy over the situation. At the bottom, I saw the Wheel of Fortune. So I definitely feel like luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in your favor. There's changes coming through. They're going to push you forward into this new direction, this new journey. Definitely 
exactly what I was feeling. You're moving to this destination. You're moving to a new journey. You're moving forward into more calmness, more clarity. You're moving on to your prosperity. Someplace you've never been before. You're leaving your comfort zone. Scorpio. Okay. Now... I'm, I'm not going to say that this situation is not going to be without its challenges because there are going to be challenges. I feel like there's challenges in the decisions that you have to make. Some of these choices that you have to make may be very hard choices. They may be something that you really have to think about. You really have to be aware about. So I feel like this Five of Swords is you moving past these challenges, coming to a good conclusion for Scorpio. Um, so whatever conflicts, whatever challenges or obstacles that you face, I feel like you're moving past that in a very strong way. And you have support. Look at this. We have three of the four pages in this reading. So definitely some kind of communication. This could also be someone offering up their cup of love to you. Someone is making a love offer. Someone is offering you up their cup of love. And I feel like in the next 48 hours, you're going to have more information about this page of cups. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look at the Moonology cards. What can Moonology tell us for Scorpio in the next 48 hours? Luck is on your side. What did I tell you? I, that's exactly what I was seeing. I seen the, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. And I just felt like your luck is changing. Your The wheel is turning in your direction. It's going in your favor. So whatever this is, luck is on your side, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. This one wants to come out. A time for healing. Definitely. Definitely. With the strength card here, we have a very good time for healing. We have the strength card. We have the three of swords in reverse. You definitely have healing. You're going through that time of rejuvenation, transformation with this death card. You're transforming because of your healing. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. So, nothing yet is set in stone. That means that all the answers have not been ha, have not been answered. All of your questions still haven't been answered. All of your choices still need to be made. So, this reading can um, change course with any choices that are made with any directions change a win-win outcome is in the forecast definitely and that's all about luck that's all about luck and i feel like it is on your side we also have a personal issue reaches resolution so if you have anything personal going on, anything that you've been waiting for answers on, Pisces, excuse me, Scorpio, I just did the Pisces reading, so I'm like all up in this. Okay, so no, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for the next 48 hours? Grief. I understand that Losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yes, definitely. And there may be opportunities that come and go, but I feel like... I feel like you're grieving for another reason, for another situation, but I feel like you're pushing on, Scorpio. You're not letting this grief take hold of you with this three of swords in reverse you're not letting it take hold of you but you need to be aware of it okay scorpio you have success i know that there is no greater goal than to love and there's definitely love coming through on this reading 
Okay, so you have success. Like I said, you have victory, Scorpio. And worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. No, it doesn't. Worry just leaves us stuck in that stuck feeling, that stagnant energy. So let go of worry. Let go of the things that are overburdening you. You know, because we all have those things in life. There's always going to be bills. There's always going to be things that come our way that are going to make us discouraged, challenges, obstacles. But there's no need to worry about the situation. We just need to take care of it and move forward because we don't want to stay in that stagnant energy. We don't want to dwell there. And we have indecision. So like I said, there are some choices that you have to make. There are some very hard choices that I feel like are going to be very important for you in the next 48 hours. And I feel like being indecisive is going to be very crucial. Um, you need to really listen to your intuition and follow that guidance so that you can make the right decisions for you. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Definitely. I'm loving this energy for you, Pisces. I keep calling you Pisces. I'm loving this energy for you, Scorpio. I've moved on from Pisces. Now it is Scorpio world. Okay, what's going on with Scorpio? What messages for Scorpio the next 48 hours? Listen deeply. Someone wants to have a conversation with you and they want your full attention. They want you to be very aware and fully accept and consider what it is that they're speaking to you. So definitely there's a lot of communication here with the Page of Wands, Page of Cups. I believe we had the Page of Swords too. So yeah, definitely. No, we had the Page of Pentacles. Definitely communication coming through. So someone wants you to be very aware of what they're saying. Pay full attention. You know, consider what they're saying is very important. Because I feel like this person, they feel like it's very important. So they really want you to take notice. We have joy and contentment. Yeah, I feel like a lot of happiness is coming your way, Scorpio. You're going to feel a lot of happiness, a lot of excitement. There's a lot of new destinations, a lot of new journeys going on here. A lot of new beginning. Um, the next 48 hours is going to be very crucial for you because it's going to depend on this happiness that you're feeling. I feel like it's putting you over the top. And if you have any questions that you need to be answered, the universe is letting you know, Scorpio. The answer is yes. You have a strong yes for whatever that you're asking. At the bottom, you have harmony and resolution. So something is going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to be resolved. Something is going in your favor in a very strong way. Let's take a look at some more cards for Scorpio. Let's take a look at some more cards for Scorpio. What's going on? Perception. So, taking notice of the way that you perceive things is very important. That's a hangman energy. You know, we have the hangman right here. Right below it. So, I, I feel like maybe changing your perspective reconsidering mysticism so something magical is happening for you there's magic in the air for you Scorpio and impatience okay let's take another deck and get an outcome for Scorpio Okay. And I believe we had the temperance card in here too. So I believe that, you know, with this impatience, I believe that that's going to be very important for you. It's going to be very hard to wait for this communication, to wait for an outcome to come about. But I feel like 
is very important for you to be patient in the situation. The next 48 hours is going to be very crucial. You're going to see, you're going to be very excited. There's going to be a lot going on. I feel like you're going to be very busy, Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio for the next 48 hours, Spirit? Messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. There's definitely, and we actually have the Seven of Wands in here someplace um, earlier. But I feel like with the Seven of Wands, I feel like this is you defending your position. Um, you're standing your ground in some sort of situation. You're not backing down, um, Scorpio. And I feel like this is you saying what you mean and meaning what you say. We have the Knight of Cups. Definitely some kind of new love offer coming in. This is something that maybe someone is inviting you to lunch. Or maybe someone is asking you out on a date. Some kind of communication. They're offering up their cup to you. The Page of Pentacles. Now we have this twice. So some kind of communication. You may have more than one offer for a new job. Or more than one offer for to increase your income, to go to school, to, you know, further your career in some way. But I feel like the communication that you've been waiting for is finally coming through. You're going to receive word on that within the next 48 hours. We have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like with this decision with this new opportunity that you have going on you're going to be juggling more responsibilities you're going to have to set your priorities straight um, align yourself with your goals and set your priorities accordingly because uh, with the two of pentacles i feel like there's a need of balance there's a need of something being balanced you're also weighing your options with the chariot look at this beautiful 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 oh my goodness i love this i love this with the chariot i feel like you're moving forward you're moving forward the way on the path that the universe is leading you you're using your intuition to guide you to this new destination this could be you physically moving for this opportunity but I feel like whatever path that you're choosing whatever destination that you're intended to go you're moving in the right direction Scorpio and you're moving very boldly very strong very honest very oh my goodness just moving wow Okay, we have the Three of Swords in reverse again. So definitely, definitely you're coming out of some kind of disappointment. This is something that is something that you may have thought about for a very long time. Um, and you may have been waiting for a very long time for word, for communication. And I feel like this is you really feeling the anticipation of this coming through you're you you're letting go of your doubts your fears your disappointment you're letting go of the past of any past hurt you know this is you moving forward and gaining your healing yes definitely we have the nine of cups so some kind of wish fulfillment is coming through for you and look what we have on the bottom oh my gosh the fool this is what you got the fool twice this is the universe letting you know that you're following this destination you're you're moving boldly strongly you're moving in the right direction you're taking this leap of faith there's a risk that you had to take to get on this journey and this is the fruits of your labor the the fool he's moving in this direction and he's doing it in an innocent nature he's following 
the universe's guidance. He's not even thinking about where he's going. He's just moving because the universe tells him to move. I feel like that's definitely you, Scorpio, moving in this right direction. Seeing your wishes come true, your contentment, your happiness, your dreams. They're all coming true. So, Scorpio, beautiful energy. I'm loving this. This is your next 48 hours. So, Scorpio, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Scorpio, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.